Hello everyone and welcome to this session. So in this session, we are going to discuss about the another basis of classification of the satellites. First, we have learned about the basis of differentiation between satellites on the basis of orbits. Now, we are going to understand about another basis of classification of the satellite and that basis is purpose for which the satellite is required. On the purpose of the satellites, satellites are classified into two types that is earth resource satellites and meteorological satellites. First, earth resource satellites. The basic purpose of earth resource satellites is to capture the information about earth's ocean, its ice caps and coastal regions. Basically, if we simply say that the main purpose of earth resource satellites is to identify and capture the information about the earth's basic natural resources. Earth resource satellites provide systematic data, global measurement of wind speed and direction, repetitive wave height, surface temperature, surface altitude, cloud cover, atmospheric water vapor level, etc. Whereas meteorological satellites provides the data for climate. These are also known as climatological satellites. Now, before this session, in our last session, we have discussed about resolutions. And we also saw the comparison of all the three, uh, the three resolution in Landsat imagery. In this session, apart from the basis of differentiation between satellites, we are also going to have a look upon some satellite, some satellite series like Landsat, Spot, Iconos, etc. First of all, we will start our discussion with the Landsat series. Landsat series is basically the longest running enterprise for acquisition of satellite imagery of Earth. Landsat series started with Landsat 1 and then recently the Landsat 9 has been launched. Landsat 9 was launched in 2021. Landsat is basically a joint NASA USGS program. It is basically a program of National Aeronautics and Space Agency. In July 23, 1972, the first Landsat satellite was launched. It was earlier named as, named as Earth Resource Technology Satellites and it was eventually renamed as Landsat. Basically, the whole series data of Landsat can be easily downloaded from the Earth Explorer USGS website. So, now we will look into some information of the satellites in Landsat series. Here, this table shows the name of instruments from Landsat 1 to Landsat 8 and the launch date of the satellites, its termination dates, it dura its duration and some notes. We will basically look upon to the launch date, termination date and duration. So, Landsat 1 was launched in July 23, 1972. It was terminated in January 6, 78 and it served a time period of 7 years, 1 month and 3 days. Landsat 2 was launched in 22 launched on 22 January 1975. It was terminated in 25th Feb 1982. It served a time period of 7 years, 1 month and 3 days. Landsat 3 was launched on 5th March 1978. It was terminated on 31st March 1983 and it served a time period of 5 years and 26 days. Landsat 4 was launched on July 16, 1982. It was terminated in 14th December 1993 and it served, the, served 11 years, 4 months and 28 days. Landsat 5 for la was launched in March 1, 1984. It was terminated in 5th June 2013. It served a time period of 29 years, 3 months and 4 days. Basically, Landsat 5 was the longest running satellite of the Landsat series. 
Landsat 7 was launched on 15th April 1999 and it is still active. Till now, it has served 21 years, 8 months and 26 days. Landsat 8 was launched on 11th February 2013. It is also still active and it has served 7 years, 10 months and 30 days till now. So you must be wondering that why the information of Landsat 6 is not given in this table. I want to let I want all of all of you to know that Landsat 6 was nearly a failed mission. It this satellite, the Landsat 6 satellite, was failed to reach its orbit. That is why it has not captured any data. This figure shows the timeline of Landsat series. Now we will move on to the Landsat series of SPOT. SPOT is a uh, SPOT is a satellite program of France. The French name of full form of SPOT is Satellite pour la Observation de la Terre. Lit the literal meaning of this term is satellite for observation of earth. It is a commercial high resolution optical earth image satellite system which is operating from space. It is run by Spot Image which is based in Toulouse, France. Basically, the idea of Spot was initiated by CNES. The full form of CNES is Centre National de Détudes Spatialis. It is basically the name of the French space agency in the 1970s and was developed in association with with SSTC, the Belgian Scientific, Technical and Cultural Services and Swedish National Space Board, SNSB. SPOT has been designed to improve the knowledge and management of the Earth by exploring the Earth resources, detecting and forecasting phenomena that involves climate and oceans and also works upon monitoring human activities and natural phenomena. The SPOT system includes a series of satellite and ground control resources for satellite control and programming, image production and distribution. Earlier satellites were launched using the European Space Agency's Ariane 2, 3 and 4 rockets while SPOT 6 and SPOT 7 were launched by the Indian PSLV. Now we will look into some details of the satellites of SPOT series. SPOT-1 was launched in February 22, 1986 with 10 panchromatic and 20 meter multispectral picture resolution capability. It was terminated in December 31, 1990. SPOT-2 was launched on January 2022, 1990 and it was deorbited in July 2009. SPOT-3 was launched in September 26, 1993. It stopped functioning November, in November 14, 1997. SPOT 4 was launched in 24th March 1998 and it stopped functioning on July 2013. SPOT 5 was launched in May 4, 2002 with 2.5 meter, 5 meter and 10 meter capability or you can say spatial resolution. It stopped functioning on 31st March 2050. 2015. SPOT 6 was launched in September 9, 2012 and SPOT 7 was launched in June 30, 2014. Both the satellites SPOT 6 and SPOT 7 are still working. Now we will move on to another satellite series which is ICONOS. It is basically the first commercial earth observation satellites. Basically all the other satellite series were launched by the uh, country's space agencies for their uses like military use or for earth resource use. But ICONOS was basically developed for the commercial purpose. It was the first satellite 
to collect publicly available high resolution imagery at 1 and 4 meter resolution which means the satellite imagery of iconos can provide you the details of even 16 meter square on the ground it collected collected multispectral as well as panchromatic imagery iconos started the selling of its imagery on 1st january and 2000 and the spacecraft was retired in 2014. It was basically designed by Lockheed Martin Space System. The lifespan of Iconos was 15 years, 6 months and 6 days. The history of Iconos goes like this. Basically or initially, two satellites were originally planned for the Iconos operation. Iconos 1 was launched on 27th April 1999 from Wedenburg AFB Space Launch Complex 6. But Athena's second rocket's payload fairing did not separate due to an electrical malfunction, resulting in the satellite failing to reach orbit and falling into the atmosphere over the South Pacific Ocean. Here comes the Iconos 2 in picture. Iconos 2 was built in parallel with and as an identical twin of Iconos 1 and completion of its construction was projected for July 1999 with a January 2000, 2000 launch. In reaction to the loss of Iconos 1, the spacecraft was renamed Iconos and its processing accelerated, resulting in a launch on 24th September 1999 also from Wedenburg AFB Space Launch Complex 6 and from Athena 2nd rocket. The company began selling Iconos imagery on the market on January 1st, 2000. Digital Globe operated the retirement uh, the Iconos until its retirement on 31st March 2015. During its whole lifetime, Iconos produced approximately 5,97,802 public images covering more than 400 million kilometers square of area. So that is all for today's session. Thank you so much all.